Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look, or well not today's look actually, today's video will be on like lash styles and what kind of lashes best suit your eyes and your eye shape or even your eyeshadow application if that makes sense. So I share with you tips and tricks that I've found work best with different eyeshadow looks, different eye styles and what you want to achieve out of your lash lashes and what like you know what you want to achieve out of your look just a side note guys if you would like me to do a how-to tutorial on like how to apply lashes like false lashes i can definitely do that for you just leave a comment down below letting me know and i can definitely deliver on that if you would like but without further ado let's get straight into the video so for the first style of lashes i'm going in today with these are pretty dramatic and more rounded than elongated eye shape so this is the Anitude lashes in the style fluffy so if you guys can see they're short on the inner and outer corner and the lo longest part of the lash is in the middle so it will actually start to round out your eyes rather than if they were just shorter on the inner corner longer on the outer corner which elongates the eyes so I really like these ones if you're doing a halo eye or an, if you have quite a rounded shape eye rather than something elongated, these ones will complement your eyes so much. The only thing with heavy lashes like these is that they do close off your eyes slightly just because they are quite top heavy. So I always like to pair it with like a nude eye curl in my bottom waterline just to kind of give it more emphasis to like make the eyes look more open. If it is a clubbing look though, I will smoke it out and I do quite like a more dramatic look for an evening where just because they, I do want something to make my eyes stand out a lot more I wear heavier makeup with these lashes so it kind of works better in a way but if you guys do like the more dramatic lash for an everyday look then it's definitely up to you um but yeah so this style of lash is the one for house of lashes and it's in the style temptress wispy they're like my lashes but better style just because they are very soft they have a thin lash band so for you beginners out there they're super easy to apply a lot easier than the anitude styles that i'm showing you just because they are a thicker lash band these mesh into the natural lashes a lot better you don't need a winged liner with these ones however with the anitude lashes you probably will just because the band is thicker you want to be able to mask it and a black liner will do the trick to do that whereas these ones you can just pop them straight on with a bare like barely any eyeshadow on the eyes and these will just look so beautiful i love these like i said for an everyday wear like if i'm just ducking out and i want to look a little bit more glam i'll apply these as my go-to lashes they are again a more rounded eye shape just because they're shorter on the inner and outer corner and the longest part is in the middle so when i apply them i always like to kind of fluff them up a little bit and I feel like they do make my eyes bigger just because the lashes aren't too top heavy and I love it with like a nude in the waterline so they're not like going to close off the eyes like the other two pairs may have that kind of effect. These don't, if that makes sense. But yeah, these are my favourite style of lash and I got a new pair today like these, I had these old ones that were more rattier. <sighs> And I'm so glad I got a new pair. They were just so much easier to apply. The other two had definitely gone by their use, like gone past their use by date. But yeah, so I hope that was helpful. So another pair of lashes I'm going to show you are again from Anitude, but these are in the style Sultry. And like I described before, they're shorter on the inner corner, longer on the outer corner. So I really like these if I'm doing quite an almond shaped eye, if I'm doing a smoky eye. And I have the darkest part of the shadow on the outer corner. I like to have the dark, like the heaviest part of the lash there as well. Just because, like I said, it will complement that eye look. I do wear these, again, for more evening kind of wear. These do suit um, eyes that are more... Like, if you have downturned eyes, I don't think these will suit as much. Just because they will kind of emphasize that angle because they are quite heavy on the outer corner you'd be best to have something a bit more lighter which i will show you um coming up so for my final pair of lashes these are this style from ardell in the natural ones so i love these for like just an everyday wear they also are perfect if you guys aren't confident with lashes 
These are even softer than the House of Lashes Temptress Wispy ones that I showed you. They still have a clear lash band. They're a lot more softer. They're barely anything. Like, they literally are a My Lashes but better. Like, the other ones were a bit more glam My Lashes but better. But these are a My Lashes but better style. You can barely notice and they literally look like My Lashes. Like, I love them because they like lash extensions, but without having to go all the money, they're super cheap, they're like from the drugstore, they are so natural, so easy to apply, like I said, perfect for beginners, or even for the you who don't actually like having heavy lashes, like you aren't confident, you don't want something too dramatic, or you just don't like, like you said, you don't like the feeling of something heavy sitting on your eye, you can barely notice these ones. I think these are the first pair of lashes I ever wore, ever, when I was very, like starting out in makeup very early on. These were the style that I chose. I used these for my sister for her formal. She didn't barely notice that they were on. They stayed all night. They're so easy to apply. And they're also perfect for those of you who have um, kind of down downturned eyes. They aren't too heavy on the outer corner. So they won't make an emphasis on that kind of downward angle. They'll actually lift the eye because they are so soft. And they are able to just like boop push it up a little bit more if that makes sense but these are definitely a recommendation for those who are starting out with lashes aren't confident with applying lashes don't really like wearing thick heavy lashes or just want something a little bit more pizzazz to your makeup look these will do the trick these will go with um almond shaped like uh smoky eyes and things like that i wouldn't really use these if you were to do like, like a halo eye if you were to do a dramatic halo eye would not use these lashes i prefer it I'd probably recommend using the fluffy ones that I showed you before. Just because these won't really do much in the sense of giving that uh, extra vroom that you need something longer in the inner corner. Or even those Temptress Wispy ones would do the trick. The Temptress Wispy, sorry I'm mumbling. The Temptress Wispy ones will do the trick. But yeah, so those are all the lashes that I wanted to show you guys today. I didn't want to overwhelm all of you with like a million different pairs, different styles, different things like that. I just showed you kind of like, like the basics. Or just like what you can kind of carry on towards like other, like applying it with other pairs of lashes. Like I've shown you dramatic and natural of kind of each style. Both rounded and more elongated um, styles of lashes. So I really do hope you found this quite helpful. And you know if you found like a takeaway from this video just a trick or two that will make my day. Leave it down below like I said if you want me to do a applying eyelashes tutorial I could definitely do that for you and show you share with you my tips and tricks and how I find best applying lashes what I've found works what doesn't you know along my lash journey kind of thing I can share with you my tips and tricks but yeah make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did like this video and subscribe to my channel I'd love to see you guys in my upcoming videos I always release a video every Monday and Thursday otherwise I'll see you guys very very soon have an amazing week and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!